everyone welcome back to another video today I am bringing you more color combinations so many of you watched my last video with my Prisma color combinations and there were quite a few of you that asked me if I could do one for the 120 set of Brute Fooner square colored pencils so that is what I'm doing for you today I also went and created an entire workbook of these sheets that I'm making available as the first thing in my new Etsy store. I think that you're really going to enjoy the workbook because I created it so that it can sort of follow you through your coloring journey and it starts with just three color combinations like you see on the sheet here. I've made it for three color blends, four color blends, five color blends, and I believe all the way up to eight color blends. Once you learn how to put together your colors for your highlight color and your shadowing color and your mid-tone, then that is when you use the other sheets to create more color combinations where you add in those transition colors in the middle of your main colors that you originally chose. So I will have directions in that workbook as a guide to help you along the way. So today we are going to start on these color combinations. This is not a tutorial video. It's going to be just like my Prisma color video where I just swatched a bunch of color combinations for you all and everyone seemed to really love it. And this video was literally big for <laughs> I do have quite a few videos already on my channel where I've done tons of different color combinations and most of them have been in tutorial form where I sort of show you a little bit of the blending techniques along the way and things of that sort. But this video is going to be just like the other one where y'all can either grab my workbook from my Etsy store and I will have the link for that down in the description box below as well as in my Facebook group. But you could either grab this workbook or you can create create your own uh, little swatch book or pull out whatever notebook that you normally use and you can write these color combinations down along with me. I also have lots of other things coming to my Etsy store. I am working on a huge Prismacolor combinations workbook and I am going to be bringing that to all of you very, very soon. I've been working away on it in all of the free time that I've gotten, plus lots of additional worksheets and a lot of worksheet tutorials, and there is just so much to come. I'm also coming out with uh, private coloring classes via Zoom, as well as group coloring classes via Zoom. So if you are not in my Facebook group or have not already emailed me, you can email me at coloringwithpamela at gmail.com if you would like to get on that list. I will be going through that list from the top in the order that everyone has been put on it as soon as I launch the first class and I have quite a few of you that are interested so that will be happening soon as well. If you check the description box down below you will find links down there for my Facebook group as well as my email list and also for my Patreon if you would like to support me over there. Let's go ahead and start swatching. And I think first I have a pink color combination. Well, sort of pinks and reds. I'm going to do just like I did in my last video. I'm going to do the very easy, more of a beginner type color combination, just very monochromatic. I mean, they'll be mixed up just a little bit, but not too much because I don't want to make it overwhelming. And then when I get towards the bottom, I'll share some color combinations that are a little bit different. So for the first one, I have now all of these pencils I do have um, available in my Facebook group. I have a list where all of these have been translated. And if you're in my Facebook group, you could go to the file section and you could find that. But they do have Chinese names on them and they also have a number. So when I swatch these out, I'm going to be going by the number on the pencil. So the first one that we have here is 008. So I'm just going to lay some of that down. Now I have 070. I'm going to start from the bottom of the first color and just pull that down through the center of the square. 
And now I have the color I chose for my highlight, and this one is 071. Look how pretty that is. And now I'm going to go over them with a second layer because we all know this is how we lay down oil-based pencils. Their pigment starts to really stand out as you lay more and more layers. So you don't ever want to just lay one layer down of especially an oil-based pencil. I'm going to come in at the transition line and I'm going to pull some of this down into my highlight color. And now I'm going to come back and lay another layer of this one. Now, I'm not going to lay more than two layers of these colors. I know that you all are, well, some of you are probably following along, but this one is 008. The next one is 070. And the third one of our com combination is 071. So let's see, let's go ahead and move on to an orange combination next. Okay, so my first color, my shadowing color is going to be 006. The next color in my combination or my mid-tone is going to be 004. And the last one, this is a gorgeous color, this one is 051. Look how pretty this is. I love that pop of orange in the middle. It almost looks like you've got two highlight colors in this color combination. I love putting together combinations like this. Now I'm just going to go over with the second layer and pull this down a little bit into the orange color. And a second layer with the orange color now. And now we have our 051 again. And we're going to do a second layer of that one. Now let's go ahead and write these down. I hope you all are following along. I love doing these color combination videos. Wait until you see what I am coming out with. You all are going to be blown away. As I sit and create it and put all of these Prismacolor color combinations together, I am surprising myself. <laughs> I just, I can't wait till it's done. It's going to be so much work though. I have a lot of work ahead of me and I'm trying to get it in, in every little bit of free time that I have, but with everything I'm trying to do, there's not a whole lot of free time that is to be had when I fit family in as well. But let's go ahead and get on to the next color combination. Let's go ahead and go to maybe a purple, purple slash pink combination. I have 104. That's a gorgeous deep purple color. And then my next is 017, this is what I'm using for my mid-tone, and it's still a fairly light color. It's sort of muted. And then I have this pink color that I want to blend into it, and this is 011, and this looks really pretty together. And it just sort of mixes it up. Now when y'all are putting together your color combinations, you can stay light like that with your mid-tone color, and then add, like I did, another color that blends well with it and then it sort of looks like you've got two highlight colors and it's just really pretty now see this color though it's much more muted so they just sort of work together and then when i'm coming down over this transition line look how it sort of changes the color and it's just so pretty let's go ahead and do a second layer of this one and i'm going to pull it down into that pink just so i make sure that I've got a good transition here, but these are so pretty together. Y'all, if you don't already have these pencils, <laughs> you gotta get these pencils. These are like my favorites. As far as an oil-based pencil, 
I like these more than my polychromos. I pull them out a lot more than my polychromos, but this was 104 for those of you that are following along and swatching with me. Then we have 017 and then 011. Okay, how about we go into something that is still sort of purpley, but different shades of purple. So for this one, I have 113. And then my next color is going to be 053. It feels so strange calling out na or numbers and not color names. <laughs> oh. If y'all want the color names, don't forget to check in my Facebook group because all of them have been translated and there is an actual PDF in the file section that you could download if you would like that. But that was 112. And I'm gonna come back here and lay another layer of the darkest color. And pull that down into this purple here, or the other purple. Look how much pigment these have for a budget-friendly pencil. And when I tell you all these are really budget, like they are really budget. And they are a really good pencil for what you pay. I think, I think right now they're only $25 for 120 pencils, which is crazy. I think I'm on my way to having three boxes of these. <laughs> one, one, three. And then 053 and 112. Now I'm going to move into some blues. My first one is going to be 089. There's some gorgeous colors in this set. If y'all didn't already see my video where I swatched all of the colors out, put them all in perfect color family order for you, and you're sitting over here, this one is um, 088, and you're sitting over here just uh, trying to make some kind of order of them, I have already done that for you. <laughs> So save yourself the time and the frustration and go find that video. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner if you've not yet seen it. This is 038. But look how pretty the colors are in this set. And you could create such beautiful color combinations with this set too. Now let's go back and go over with a second layer. And a second layer of our mid-tone. And this isn't even necessarily a mid-tone. This color here could be used as a shadowing color as well. But in this case, I'm using it as a mid-tone because as you could see, the difference in the colors, there's just, they're so different from one another that the tones of the different colors just really make them stand out against one another. And then I still have my gorgeous highlight color. And if you want, you could go back over all of them and just get a really nice blend. And look how beautiful when this color goes over this color here, how it just really brightens it up. Is that not so beautiful? Okay, so let's write these down. 089. I almost wrote it in that box over there. Did you all see that? <laughs> 088. And 038. Okay, so now we're gonna go to like a combination of like blues and teals. And these colors are really pretty. So you're gonna have to ignore my little black mark here on my on my little box here. It's not part of the pencil, hopefully it covers it. But I think this color is pretty dark. This is 055. And it's not gonna cover it. So ignore that. <laughs> and then 047. 
Look how pretty these two look together. Oh my goodness. So pretty. And this is my last color of my combination or my highlight color and this is 056. Now we are going to come back and do a second layer of these. And look how that pigment just lays down with another light layer. You can see I'm holding my pencil to the side, so I'm not laying that much pressure on my pencil and it's just really picking it up nicely. Look how pretty. Oh, this might be my favorite color combination so far, but I love blues and teals. Okay, so now let's write these down. 055, 047, and 056. And there's another combination. How about we come up with a green color? Maybe we'll do a couple different green combinations because we all love to color leaves so much and we just do so much of it that I think we need two different types of green combinations. So the first one is going to be 043. My next color is going to be 116. Look how pretty. Y'all know if you've watched my videos or listened to me before, you know I love my mossier type greens or the greens that are just a little bit different. This one is 066 and look how these blend into one another and these colors are just pop. Look at that. And then I'm gonna come back and lay a second layer And I'm going to pull it down into this other color just a little bit. If you ever struggle with a more budget-friendly set uh, trying to blend them, you just go in opposite directions over that transition line and you use lighter pressure and pull the one color into another. And it really always seems to help. And then you do the same thing at the transition line and you lay your next color down. And if you want to come back with your lightest color, you can come back and just go over the entire thing. And when you go over the entire thing with a color like this, oh my gosh, it just brings all the colors together and just brightens it up and makes it so beautiful. Look at that. That's a gorgeous color combination. I think that the values of the colors in that color combination are just absolutely perfect. But we've got 043. And then 116 and 066. Now let me come up with one more green combination and I'm gonna make it not the mossier greens, I'm gonna make it your regular typical greens. I have another green color combination that I picked out and already swatched out so it looks really great together. And we're gonna have another pop of color just like we did in this one, but it's not gonna be mossy. So this is gonna be just more of your typical greens. I've got 058. This is our shadowing color. This one is 042. And then I've got my bright pop of color with 118. Oh, look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to come back with 058 and I'm going to just put another light layer over there and pull it down into the transition line into my mid-tone. And then I'm coming back with my mid-tone and I'm going to pull it into my lightest color just to get a really good transition there. See how it transitions much better when you do that? And then I'm going to go in a downward mo motion with my 118. Okay, 058. And 042. 
and 118. Now, if you're not in my Facebook group, we do, um, my moderators have gone through all of the trouble of creating color combination folders. And we already have several Brute Funer color combinations that have been created by members of my Facebook group. And so they are all in the Facebook group. If you go to the um, folders section, I believe, and then you just look for the folder labeled whatever uh, colored pencil combination you're looking for. And you could just browse through those at your leisure and find lots of different color combinations. I don't generally do brown color combinations in a lot of these videos, but I know a lot of you are coloring animals and want really great fur combinations and such. So I included a brown color combination. So this is going to be a little bit different, but these colors look really gorgeous together. So I have 020. This is a beautiful brown color. It's very bright. And then the next one is 093. These are really pretty colors. I mean, they fall under browns, but they're so bright and vibrant and beautiful. This last color in this combination, it's very different, but it's very pretty. This one is 064. Look how pretty those are. And I have another brown combination for you too after this one that is really pretty. Let's come back and just do a second layer, a second light layer over this. Here's my mid-tone and I'm just pulling it down into that transition again of my highlight color. And I'm doing the same thing here and then going in a circular motion and just making sure those transition lines are very well blended. Look how pretty that is. That would be really pretty for something like a cat maybe if you sort of mixed all of these three colors together because when you're doing fur you do a lot of stroking with your pencil and so if it was on an animal and you were coloring fur it would be a blend of all of these colors standing out on top and one behind the other and so it would come together extremely beautiful so zero two zero zero nine three and zero six four and then I have one more very different color combination and this one I can't remember exactly what this one was let's lay it down and see so I've got 024 I think this is a brown yes it is and then one of them is very different but they blend together beautifully so this is a darker combination 024 and then I think this really lightens it up, but it's much more muted. This one is 067. See, this one just sort of changes the colors up, and it looks like it has like a very, I don't know, I don't even know what color this is. It looks like it has red and gray sort of mixed in, or pink and gray sort of mixed in. It's a very different color. It was the one when I was putting them in perfect color family order that I had so much trouble with. This is 096. And so I'm just sort of mixing a gray into this now. And look how different that is, but they look so beautiful together. And this is the one that I thought would be absolutely gorgeous for an animal. So let's go ahead and write these down. 024, 067, and 096. The next one is another pink color combination, and I just really love pink, so I just really wanted to do another one because if we look at this entire sheet, we don't have a true, true pink color combination. And I just picked some colors, and I'm gonna lay them down, and we're gonna see what we get. <laughs> and sometimes it's just fun to do that. So I've got 105. This is a pink that has a lot of purple in it, but it is definitely lighter than the 104 that we had up here. And then I have 016. 
look how gorgeous that color is oh my goodness it's so pretty there's our true print true pink and then one 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 and look at the transition in these colors oh my goodness that's a gorgeous combination see sometimes you can just pick something and lay it down on the paper just by looking at your pencils and you will be very happy with it look at that sometimes it's great just to sit and play around with the colors and just even get a piece of scratch paper and start blending out the colors and just see what you get And for this one, I did come back and lay a second layer, even though I don't think y'all saw it on camera, but I did do that. So it probably looks a little bit darker, but those colors are gorgeous. 105. And then 016. And 111. Look how pretty. I decided to do another one that is a little bit daring and I want to try another brown color combination because I'm really loving these and I don't really do the brown color combinations a whole lot. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe I should give you all a gray combination as well. I'll have to go back and look and see what we have for grays, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me do a brown one. Now with this brown one, I'm using one of the colors from this combination, one of the colors from this combination, and then I'm bringing in another color. And always feel free to do that. Like pull your colors from your other color combinations that you put together, and then just add in another color for your midtone or your highlight or whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to start with my darkest color, my 024 that I used over here, which I think is a beautiful brown and I'm gonna lay that one down here now I have 117 that was the color that I added in and then I am using this 064 again and look how pretty that is let's come back and lay another layer You see how I just used the same colors and just created a whole other color combination out of the colors that I already used. These two blend beautifully together. I'm really loving this color. This, uh, what is it, 064? So 064. And then 117 and 024. Okay, so I chose some grays. And one of the grays is actually from this color combination. So I'm using the same highlight color that I used here, the 096 or 096, that I used with these brown type colors. This one, I don't even know if that's really a brown. It's very, very different. It's a gorgeous color though. That color right there is a color that I've never seen in any other colored pencil set. It's just so, so different. So I've got 073, which is a very dark gray, almost black. I have 097. And this is the 096. And let's just come back with a second layer. And our highlight color. Okay, so we've got 073, 097, and 096. We did not do a color combination yet with yellows. So we're going to do one with an orange and a yellowish orange, and then add in a yellow just for that bright pop of color. Yellow combinations are really hard to do unless you are using something that's like a yellow ochre type color. 
and I don't see anything really in this set when I look at the swatch chart so that would definitely be like one color that is missing out of this set but I have 004 and this was actually the mid-tone that I used in this color combination but this time I'm going to use it as my darkest color so that we could come into yellows so I'm going to lay that here as my darkest color you can always take your mid-tone and use it as your darkest shade if you're going lighter and lighter this one is 003 I'm going to pull down from that transition line and now I'm going to use this beautiful bright pop of yellow. I love yellows. This is 001. Look how pretty that is. And then let's just come back and let's lay another layer over that. And we're going to do the same thing with our mid-tone and pull this down into this beautiful bright yellow and then come back over it with the yellow. And of course, if you wanted to take your yellow and go over the whole entire thing and just make it all really brighten up and just give it that pop and fill in the rest of the white of the paper, you could do that too. But these are some gorgeous colors. I'm just trying to add a little bit more color here. See, I'm just supposed to be doing color combinations and not getting artistic, but that just, I don't know, it's so hard for me to do that. <laughs> Okay, so I've got 004, again the same color that I used at the top of the page, and then 003, that's a beautiful color, that yellow orange, and then 001. Now I have a color combination for y'all that is going to be a little bit different and I want to do this one because I want to encourage some of you that say you struggle to blend your colors together or choose your colors. I want you to know that it is not always about being perfect and sometimes you just need to mix some colors together, pick a darker color and then a mid-tone and a lighter color, but you can feel free to mix up those colors and maybe one's a blue, one is a green, one is a yellow. And all of those colors are going to blend together beautifully as long as you have a dark color for your shadows and a mid-tone for your shading and then your lightest tone for your highlights you will be able to create a beautiful color combination so I'm gonna show you this one I put together and show you how these colors can just blend together and look very pretty together and just be a little bit different and these would be actually gorgeous for a flower at least that's what I thought of when I put them together. This is 089. Then I have 099. Look at that transition. Look how pretty that is. And now I have 100. <laughs> but look at these colors. Is that so cool? Now I'm going to come back and just go the other direction with light layers and pull this color into the other. And then come back with my mid-tone and pull that in at the transition. And look how beautifully these two colors just blend together seamlessly. You see how that works? And then just pull it down into this color where we have a lot of pink. This is kind of like a purpley pink or like a mauvey pink. It's beautiful. But look at that gorgeous color combination. I'm so excited about that one. Now see if you just play with your pencils, you can really create something beautiful. 099 and then 100. So we have 089, 099, and 100. And I just wanna show you with these pencils, like I only put two layers down here, but if I were to come back with all of these and I were to put more light layers and just really blend these out, you can really add some pigment with these colors. If I come back and I went in this direction and I just laid more layers, pulling this down into this beautiful purpley color, and then came back again doing the same thing, starting at the transition line, coming down, into this beautiful pinky color or mauvey color and then again 
with this mauvey color, which is or would be my highlight color. But do you know how beautiful that color combination would look on a flower? That would just, it would be beautiful. Maybe I'll need to do a video where I color a flower in those colors and show y'all, but that would be gorgeous. For this last one, I put some colors together and they're a little bit different from one another. This color here, this is 054. And this is going to be like a very dark, purpley, pink, mauvey color, but very, very dark. And then I am going to mix that with this pink that is sort of bright, and it is 010. And see how the difference in these colors just really come together and make it pop? That is so pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and put with it the 011 that we used up here in this color combination just to sort of pull this down into the highlight color. But look how pretty those colors look together. I'm just coming over here with a second layer. Always make sure you pull down through your transition color because that's going to change the colors up just a little bit at that transition and really help them to blend together nicely. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. And of course, if you wanted to, you could go back over all of the colors and just really bring them together and brighten them up. But that combination is quite a bit different as well because we've got the very dark, dark reddish purple here, and then we sort of transition into pinks, and purples and pinks blend very nicely together. So we've got 054 and 010 and 011. So there we have it. We've got a few new color combinations for your 120 set of squared Brute Fooner colored pencils. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other pencils you want me to come up with some color combinations for, and I would be glad to do that. We used a lot of pencils to create these combinations. I've got pencils all laying here and some laying still out to the side. And if you don't already have my swatch sheet here, this blank swatch sheet is also available for free in my Facebook group. And you can just go to the file section and be able to download that. And then you could follow my video where I swatched out all of the Brute Fooner colored pencils and I put them all in perfect color family order. I'm thinking of also making my swatch chart here with the colors already all filled out and the names and the numbers available in my Etsy store because it's been requested so many times. And I know there's a lot of you that don't want to swatch your colored pencils or you can't swatch your colored pencils for some reason and you would like that made available to you. I do want to let you know that making a copy of a swatch chart after I take a picture of it and turn it into a PDF. Making a copy of it is not going to guarantee that the colors are going to look exact, but if you've got a fairly good printer, it should be pretty close and you should be able to see them pretty good on your computer screen if you are pulling them up that way or on your iPad. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out a lot and be on the lookout for my Etsy store because I'm going to have a lot available for y'all there. It's going to be full pretty soon because I'm working hard. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Happy coloring. Bye.